We all have a few go-to games that we use as infection vectors to introduce gaming to our non-gamer friends and family. Well, today on Tabletop, Neil Grayston, Jana Spenson, and James Kyson are joining me to play the game that I use to introduce my wife and our two children to the joys of trading wood for sheep. It's a lot more fun than it sounds. You also get to build roads. And I'm not doing a good job of selling it. Listen, just sit back and watch us play a modern day classic, The Settlers of Catan. This game is a global phenomenon. Since it was released in 1995, it has sold hundreds of millions of copies. That means that right now, at this instant, there are thousands of people playing this game all over the world, including us. We are settlers on the legendary island of Catan. The first person to reach 10 victory points wins the game. You get victory points by collecting and managing resources. You get resources when one of the settlements you have built is adjacent to a tile that has spawned a resource. We find out which tiles spawn resources every turn by rolling dice. No one will have enough resources on their own to build the roads, settlements, and cities they need to win the game. So we will all have to barter and trade with each other. Just like in real life, there are nasty surprises waiting for you. Whenever we roll a seven, the robber gets activated and he steals from you. We hate the robber, the robber is a dick. But if you get robbed, it's not the end of the world. There are other ways to get victory points. Having the longest road, having the largest army, or you can also trade in resources to buy these development cards. You are about to see all of this in action because it is time to play The Settlers of Catan. Well, uh, my name is Neil Grayston, and I guess most people know me as Fargo on Eureka. I'm James Kyson. I'm an actor. I guess most people know me from Heroes, a TV show on NBC. Uh, I played Ando. I'm Jane Espenson. I am a TV writer producer. I'm best known for sci fi and fantasy shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Game of Thrones and Once Upon a Time. All right, Jane, Gemini. so you get to place a settlement and a road. Uh, I'm gonna put it one right here. I'm gonna send a road that way. All right. Okay, James, a settlement and a road. All right, I'm gonna start on this side. Okay. <clears throat> right, I'm going to go right. That's right. where I was gonna play, Greaston. <laughs> uh, I will begin here, no, yes, I will begin here. No, I have not played this game in five years. No, here, I will begin here. I mean, it seems like like Will, he's sort of the, uh, the master of the game as you know it relates to the rest of us. Seven! Anyone can win at any time. It really depends on the dice. The only way that you can eke out an edge at all is if you get real good board placement and if you can kind of work the other players to trade to your advantage. Now we go back the other way. The second settlement you place gives you the uh, resources where that settlement lands. So I will put a settlement here. And now I will get lumber, clay, and ore. Well, I do believe then that will go here. So I get clay, clay slash brick, clay wood slash lumber, lumber <laughs> and uh, wheat, wheat slash grain. Wheat slash grain. All right. That was actually wheat slash grain was uh, my family's name when we emigrated from Scotland, <laughs> and they, they changed wheat it at Ellis grain. Island yeah. because they 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 were they had a very hard time pronouncing it. All right, James, you're up. Wow. Let's see. I'm gonna go this way. Very bold, very interesting move. So you will get an ore and you will get a brick. James might have screwed up early on when he placed his development along the seashore. And I started by trying to utilize the three, four, ones. And Jane? Showing up here today, this is the first time I've played this game. I'm gonna go right there. You actually can't build there can't because build there you are you are adjacent to Neil. Right, I no meant. worries. That's all right. 
I'm gonna go there. Listen, you could become lousy with sheep. I could be, exactly. Which is my proclaimer's cover. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, get, so get two, get two sheep, sheep and a wheat. And a wheat. Oh God, there I can make go. my lamb and wheat stew. Oh, <laughs> I read about it on the internet. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll the dice to find out which tile produces resources. 11, so orange gets wheat, red gets wheat, and blue gets wood. So is anyone willing to trade a sheep and give me a... Uh, yeah, I'll trade you wood for sheep. Fantastic, I will do that. And is anyone willing to give me some bricks for some wheat? I'm gonna hold on to my bricks. What if I sweetened the deal and gave you two wheats for one bricks? She's stealing and wheeling already. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. James, you're up. Okay, here we go. And it's a James five. James rolls a five, which means white gets ore. The other five is here, and orange gets clay. All right. There you go. Would anyone like a ore for a wood? I'm good. <laughs> I'll give you an ore for a clay. Okay, I will give you an ore for a clay. All right, I'm done. All right. I've been playing Settlers probably about once a year for the past decade, I'd say. So every time it's a, a refresher is kind yeah, of needed. I think that's me again? I will trade a, a wheat for a sheep. I have so much wheat, I don't even know. Okay then. Would you say you have a ton of wheat? Ha <laughs> ha That's my name, I know! This guy. Yeah, I don't get uh, it. This... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna build a road. Build that road, build that road! Mm, where do I build the road? I build the road to there. All right, my turn. Seven. Oh, se oh yes. Oh. Seven, so that means the robber is going to come in mm -hmm. and rob us mm -hmm. and be a dick. Right now? Yeah, <laughs> which sucks for, for everybody. It sucks a little bit less for me because it means that I'm gonna get to steal a card from someone. Doesn't seem uh, like it sucks at all for you. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I know that Jane is lousy with wheat, mm -hmm. so I am going to do my very best mm -hmm. to steal wheat from you. Yes! Now you don't know what I have. <laughs> oh, it's seven. That's a seven. No. Oh. All right. So the robber's gonna move right, again. You could get it right back. Yep. The robber's gonna move again. Uh, and if you wanna, if you wanna steal the wheat back from me. Oh no! You're stealing from me. Steal. Okay. I'm gonna steal this one. Damn it. I am going to buy a development card. Curses. Oh. It's still my turn? It is. I'm gonna buy another development card. Ooh, holy crap. Empty my Fancy hand. Cards. All right. Oh, Come on, six. Seven. Oh, man. I did a trade that allowed me to buy two development cards in a single turn, empty my hand out, which turned out to be fantastic because then the robber came along and I had nothing to steal. I figured out how to be robber proof. <laughs> Just to be fair, I'll put it here and I'll take a card from Neil. Does Neil feel that's fair? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll come, come around to me and next, next one will be me, so. <laughs> and it's a six. Oh, finally. Six! Oh, oh, nice. I, get, I get paid with ore, and you get paid with lumber. Yes. All right. Seven! Oh, wow. I know that James has wheat. So let's shut that down and let's hope that I can steal wheat from you. I'll just give it to you. Here. <gasps> really? James is just giving his cards away. It's like, at least, you know, make him work for it, man. No, wait a minute. <laughs> he's, he's stealing from you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch your cards and figure out exactly where the wheat goes. <laughs> ah! That's one I really found out like how aggressive people are playing. Would you be interested in trading wheat for brick? The, the brick that you just stole from me? Yes. <laughs> yes. I will give you my wheat if you could give me a brick and another card. I had almost convinced James to trade me wheat so that I could build a city. And James then realized... Oh, wait, what am I doing? No, I... 
I need this weed. I was so close. I got seduced by you, Will, for like. <laughs> you feel it? Oh my God. Yeah, it was right there. It was happening. We were like, we were in the bedroom and everything. I was like, what? What am I doing? I need to. I need to win. <laughs> Don't give up your weed to the first. You almost had me. So <laughs> you Jedi minded Curses. me, Will. Oh. You cannot blame a sexy, sexy man like myself for trying to get his wheat on. Uh, I, am, I am going to buy a development card. All right, it's yeah. my turn, but before I do that, I'm gonna play a knight. So I'm gonna go ah, over to there, then I'm gonna take something from you, Mr. Orange. Okay, I want that one. What did you take? Uh, now I roll uh, my dice. Four. 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 That's gonna four. give lumber to Get red it. and uh, orange. And where's the other four is gonna give clay to me. After all that maneuvering, I have enough cards to do nothing. So <laughs> my turn is done. James, you're up. All right, I'll roll. A seven. I think we rolled like five or six sevens in a row. Who do you think has this the This is less Settlers of Catan and more the Robber of Catan. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is. Yeah, I know. Robber after robber, back to back to back. Uh, oh seven. my God, oh, okay. are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> um, it's unbelievable. I will also the year of plenty. play the Year of Plenties. Well, I would like a wheat. All right. And because I was, yeah. I guess I'll get uh, you never a lumber. Have wood or yeah. clay. Yes. yes. <laughs> or those wood. things that are necessary in the beginning yeah. of the game. Um, and I will purchase a settlement. That's in front of me. Right in front of me. Yeah, yep. pass me my thing. Yep. That's mm -hmm. my. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll put it right there. There you go. Let's see if I can not roll a seven. How about that? Let's get some eights, That would be kind of cool. Let's that get some eights or sixes. And eight. Eight. there's an eight. Thank you. Which I rolled because thank you asked you. for it. Yes, thank you. All right, you. so let's see. That means clay for orange, clay for white, and where's the other eight? Yeah. And the eight means uh, wheat, wheat for, for red. Wheat. And um, I can do nothing and I have nothing to trade, so that will be the end of my turn. Seven, please. Ten. <laughs> Double sheep. Double sheep. Oh, Look at boy. that. Yeah, this place sheep is lousy with sheep and a sheep for you, and then the other ten does nothing. All right, now I'm going to do something tricky. Is it still my turn? Is yes. that I have a Monopoly card. Oh my crap, what if I name a thing that none of you have any of? Oh no. Oh, no. I may not have thought this through. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say lumber and see if anyone has any. No lumber for me. I have a strategy for winning the game today, which is I want to win it on the the bonusy things, the longest road, the biggest army. Jane totally got me by surprise because I thought it was her first time playing. She must have been coached really well because she turned into this killer. Now I would like to build a road. No. Doom, doom. Sheep. God, you guys are like, what is up with your sheep? Can I offer something to anyone to remove that robber? I'll like, do my I, best to roll a seven for you again. Like, can I contribute to the bank? <laughs> I don't think you can. No, I don't, I don't think you're allowed. I don't think you can do that. Oh, I wanted to kill him. When Will put his robber on it, I was just like, unbelievable. That was the one thing that I had going for me. Can I give you an ore for a wood? I do not have wood. Because ores are handy. Wood it's is tough to come by. I got the only wood on the table and turned it in. So. Okay. Which is weird since you're at a table full of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's the one wish Thank you took from me. Thank you. Thank you. 12 year olds everywhere. Seven. Seven. There we go. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. I'm just making sounds now. Yeah. Um, good sound. I am going to steal from you again, Jane, mm -hmm. because I. I think you have slightly better things. Oh, of 
course. <laughs> did you steal a sheep? I did. I'm like the sheep kidnapper now. Um, I'm oh, going to buy this. a development card. Nice. All right, here we go. Some sixes, Will. Again, please. I kind of like an 11. Four. A four? four? Wait, wait, before I'm angry about it, does a four help me? Oh, it does! It gives me clay! Okay. It gives me uh, lumber. And it gives you lumber, and oh it gives God. you lumber. This is the worst thing in the world for me. How you doing? Oh, are you gonna, do you wanna steal one of my sheep? Nope. <laughs> nope, I wanna trade you for lumber. My strategy right now is to get the longest road and keep the longest road. I'm building a road. Oh, snap a diddly. You're making that, putting that out of reach. Yeah. I'm trying really hard to extend my road in both directions, but in the small chance that I don't win, I think Will's gonna take it. Seven. Seven. Where shall I put it? It was so exciting when it was sitting over here. Maybe please, still please don't. <laughs> um, no, I think Will is the threat, <clears throat> so. I'm gonna put it back no, over but, here. But, uh... Thank you. Fine, there, have another one of those. Yes, I know, it's not really what I need. But I would like to trade to get either wheat or bricks, and I'm willing to offer sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have wheat or bricks? You, you, you can have two sheep for either a wheat or a brick. Uh, then my turn is over. Jane's sort of the sheep herder in this game. <laughs> and uh, that's great in the later stages of the game, but in the early stages of the game, when you're trying to build roads and settlements, you don't really need sheep. Five. Five. So that's gonna okay. be ore for white and ore for orange. And, and uh, clay. Clay for orange. Five. Okay. Okay, that gives me an ore. And it gives me an ore. Yeah. So someone has to give you those things. Banker. I know, I'm just thinking that if I don't have any cards, I don't see why you guys should get any cards either. All right, or, or, and clay. Okay, and I will trade in four sheep yep. for a wheat. And with that wheat, I will Oh, you, oh, okay, good card, because I you know, was ready for you there. All right. Mm. Uh, I'm done. I will pass this to I'd be. I would trade you nothing for a thing. Really? Yeah. Um, would you like an orange road? <laughs> I would love an orange road. Yeah, I did. Wow, you Place you. it wherever no, you like. No, that's great. It. I'm going to put it right here on top of my houses. Look at that. So they're all tied together now. That was a great trade for me. It was fantastic. <laughs> Oh. Seven. Okay, wow. so I get him off of there, and um, mm. so let's block that so you can't draw lumber, and let's hope that I get it. For, okay, good. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. All right, your turn. <laughs> oh, I had such plans. Ah. How is this possible? Oh, crap. Wow. The most commonly rolled numbers, statistically, are six, seven, and eight. Well, we've rolled a lot of sevens. We've rolled hardly any sixes and eights. So I'm gonna move it here, and then I'm gonna take one of his clays. Is it a clay that you can? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't do anything, so I'm done. Boy, this is tough. Nine. Nine. Which did, okay, it, it helped me one. nothing there, and uh, does. Okay, it's just... <laughs> I think I'm doing all right so far. Um, I don't know what everybody has, and there's still a lot of little victory cards to be played, and uh, I've, got some, I've got some stuff in my pocket that I'm really excited to play. Five. Five. So that's gonna be four for white, and or for Unbelievable. orange. Unbelievable. Right. Uh, I am going to Move my Ooh. knight. All right. Uh, <clears throat> just gonna put it on there oh. because I want to steal your one you card that you have. You are a terrible person. I'm the most awful person right now. You're a horrible, I'm horrible, horrible, horrible person. Horrible person who builds a road and then builds another road. Well, actually, two more roads. Two more roads. Place two new roads as if you had just built them. Oh, you filthy, Coming from behind. filthy That's what he was going for. Head. Did you see what I did? Oh um, my god! Oh. I helped you get that. Haha. <laughs> Thanks.
four. four. That's going to give lumber to the two people I don't want to have it. And it's going to give me clay. Go ahead. Eight. eight. We finally rolled an eight. So I get some All right, some so wheat. you get some wheat. And get see, you clay. both get clay. All right. A seven. Hmm. Well, Neil, you are in the lead, so I think. That has to be accounted for, so. Um, all right, here we go. All right. Seven. Really? Unbelievable. Okay. I'd like Stay to say yours. goodnight to everyone who decided to play the drinking game at home <laughs> where a seven is rolled and they take a drink. I hope that you drank a lot of water I'm earlier in the drink. day and that yeah, you have sorry. a miserable morning. Good. Would anyone like a clay for a wheat? Yes, I will give you a wheat if you give me a clay. There you go. All right. Um, I will build a you road. You son of a bitch! Oh. Hello. Longest road to Grayston. I will also buy me a development card. So Neil is like Captain Development, which is really smart because he's not getting cards that he can use to build more roads and upgrade his settlements into cities, but he's getting cards that he can use to turn into development cards. We know that he's two thirds of the way to largest army and that is a lot of points. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this. You are upgrading to a city it looks like? Yes, I am. What's the name of your city? Um, Graystonville. Graystonville, I forgot to ask you, Jane, what's the name of your city? Uh, S Espensonitis. No, wait. No, that, that's a disease. It's, it's a, right, it's the inf information of the Espenson. Yeah. Largest that's army. Wait, so are you moving the robber? Oh, yeah. Oh, I my am. God. Uh, Please don't put it there. <laughs> if, you, okay, so if you're going to put it, just put it over here. Well, then I'm blocking myself. How about this? If you don't put it on me, I'll just give you an ore. Oh. That's, oh, a, that's an interesting that, that's that's an excellent, that's, look that's, at that's, the James Gambit. That's okay. beneficial for both people. Yeah, I'll right? do that. Yes, I'll put it I'll, in the desert. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Okay. Outside the box, outside look at the that. hexagon. Doesn't James, slow the game down. You're a good person, James. I'm trying to be, man. Just roll some sixes, bro. <laughs> All right. What have I in my hand, you say? Thank There's you, Will. Here's double wood for you, double ore for me. I sure would like wheat. Can anybody help me with wheat? Is there wheat happening in this game right now? I think everyone's looking Still gluten-free. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Jane, you're up. Eight. Eight. Eight! I get a whole bunch of wheat. Eight. <laughs> wow, clay. there's double wheat and single wheat. And I get a clay. You each get a clay. Clay and clay. There you go. Is anyone going to give me a sheep for a wheat? I give you a wheat, you give me a sheep? Wheat is useless to me without sheep. Wait, is it? Not necessarily. Okay. Thank you. Then I will buy a development card. And that completes my turn. Mm. Eight, so that's clay. I'll take some more wheat. Clay and clay. Three more wheat. <laughs> Jeez. Actually, you have a lot of wheat, right? Would you like mm -hmm. another clay? I'd like a Just brick, or I'd like a, a, a log for a wheat. Not all right. Get ready. Get ready. All right. I will give you a log for a week. Robber. Um, right. There's nothing there. Uh, because whatever. <clears throat> oh wait a minute. Did you win? I think he just won. Oh. I think I'm gonna build game. another road just because. And oh my god, watching all that was making me so frustrated. Because there we go. There's a palace. There's oh my, my extra god. victory. Oh. <laughs> Neil was kind of like this low-key, smiling, nice guy, but just kind of started collecting assets, turn after turn, and next thing you know, he had eight points, nine points, and then he won. Totally did not see it coming. Congratulations, Ooh. Neil Grayston. You are the official oh, nice. settler of Catan. Very uh, nice. So, uh, wow. Jane and James, we're gonna go over to the very comfortable couch of defeat. <laughs> we're gonna have a seat there, and we're gonna nurse our wounds. Uh, and Neil, I'll see you downstairs in front of the wall of victory. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, guys, we did our best, but Neil's best was better than our best. However, I don't think we lost this game on our own. We had yeah. help from someone who belongs in this lounge of defeat with us. 
that guy. Yes. There it is. You're a dick. <laughs> there should be a fire where we go and see Yeah, good idea. Flames. Post, give us a fire. Nice, good work. I'm gonna go downstairs and pretend to be happy for Neil. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna hang out here We're at the consolation couch. With the dick. <laughs> so life imitates art. Just as Fargo beat Parrish to go to Titan, so does Neil beat me to win the official tabletop trophy of awesome for being the winner of Settlers of Catan. The coveted trophy. Yes, now, um, I'm just gonna write your name on it. Okay. So that everyone knows it's yours. All right. So, uh, there you go. Uh, please, uh, feel free to make a speech. Um, well, I gotta say, it was a hard run, um, but I really hunkered down. I think I got the right cards, and I played my cards right, and we got through the barren wheatless little Those bit of it. Those awful days, the wheatless yeah. days. And yeah. then the, the surfeit, is that the right word, of sheep? We just yeah. had too many sheep. Yeah. I guess the, the point is always get the, uh, buy the cards. Congratulations. Thank you, Will. Now, I actually have to take the trophy back now because uh, we can't afford more than one. Oh. Uh, um, but uh, here, guess what? You get to keep the tape with the your tape? name on it. Oh, So awesome. that all day long, everyone knows everyone that you knows. are Neil and you are a star. I am the true settler of Catan. We will see you next time right here on Tabletop.